guys. So boat was found. It is not one of our local boats. I got a phone call one morning with disturbing news. There is dead men in the boat. Oh, yes, they go, my God. Fishermen operating out of Bell Garden Bay in Tobago made a shocking discovery on Friday when a boat with dead bodies aboard was found at sea. A boat from West Africa had drifted all the way across the Atlantic and arrived in the Caribbean island of Tobago. Nearly three years ago, a boat with the bodies of 14 men washed up in the Caribbean. An investigation from the Associated Press traced the stories of the men who boarded that boat in hopes of a better life. The piece has now been named as a finalist for the Scripps Howard Journalism Award. The Scripps Howard Awards are presented by E.W. Scripps, our parent company. And joining us now is the journalist behind the investigation, Renata Brito. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, for those who haven't had a chance to see your investigation, uh, what did it find? Hi, thank you for having me. Our investigation looked at this um, underreported migration route to Europe um, because a lot of people know the Mediterranean, but there's actually a much deadlier uh, route from West Africa to these Spanish islands, the Canary Islands. And what we found was that actually many boats are losing themselves in the Atlantic, trying to reach these European islands, and they drift across the Atlantic and then are found on the other side, uh, on another continent, in the Caribbean, in Brazil, and um, very little is known about them. So we, we set up to trace um, their journey to find their families and ultimately help identify some of the deceased that were found. And one thing that always stands out to me with those stories, because so often we hear, is just the, the, the number of casualties, uh, people who lose their lives on these migrant routes. But so rarely do we hear about who they were as people. What do you hope that people take away from reading your story? I think we, we were trying to connect the dots and show how interconnected the world actually is. So. Um, migration and border control in Europe have consequences on the other side of the Atlantic and um, not just for families to understand you know their loved ones could be um, among those deceased that are found floating in these mysterious boats uh, in the Caribbean but also for authorities in the Caribbean to be aware of this migration route to Europe and um, you know, a lot of these cases go unsolved, but now with our investigation, I think they have a bit of a, a path to follow and, and dots to connect um, to really uh, identify these people, find their families and raise awareness of this really deadly route to Europe. What type of work did it take to follow the stories of the individuals who were on board this boat and actually trace them back to their families and, and figure out who they were as people? It, it was a lot of journalism, but a, a lot of forensic work as well. We um, had sources on, and, and many, you know, we had sources in Europe, we had sources in West Africa, we had sources in the Caribbean, but it was really a puzzle piecing things together, looking at the clothing that was found, comparing it to uh, photos of the missing and the disappeared. And we even went as far as conducting an, a DNA test to confirm the identity of at least one man who we believed was, you know, um, a Malian uh, man who his family had reported missing months before. So uh, it was a bit of, uh, of everything, shoe leather reporting, but also uh, forensic work, uh, analyzing visual evidence and um, piecing it all together. Renata Brito, thank you for joining us this morning. Congratulations on being a finalist. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Stay here on Scripps News. We have more Morning Rush next.